Hey everyone, it's Callie with Bookshelf Banter, and today I am bringing you a review of two books. Yes, that's right. It is the first two books in a series of five, and I got my hands on both of them uh, because we're putting on uh, a post on the website about um, the books, and it's a blog tour, and there's a contest, and you can actually win the two books that I'm going to talk about today. Um, the series is called the Child Series, or the Child Novels, and the first book is called The Child. The author is C.A. Kuntz, and it's actually a mother and son duo, Carol and Adam, and they wrote these books. Uh, the second book is Dark Days, and it's just recently been released, and I, I kind of am intrigued by this idea of self-publishing, and I actually got to meet Carol and Adam at a conference that I went to recently, and I didn't even think about um, like grabbing their book because I was so busy, but we did talk and I was asking about self-publishing and what it's like and in a roundabout way, I ended up reading these books. Now, I have to say that The Child, I was in love with the cover because it's just so different. It has like a manga feel to it and um, I, I just love the redhead, but hello, you know, it's just something that I love in general. So I read this book and I read it in a couple of days, which is pretty normal for me in my busy, crazy life. And I'm going to give it three books on the bookshelf because there's this character cat that comes into her self, into her own world because she's starting high school. She's convinced her parents that she needs to stop going to private school and go to public school. And she's entering this world and she's pretty much taking it on like head first. And, and I love that. But at the same time, her life is changing. I mean, physically, like her body is changing. She's turning 16 and, um, there's more to it than just hormones, which I kind of love that twist of it seeming like normal life, but then being paranormal life. And so the, the story starts out and Kat is really just trying to figure out this world she's in. Um, C.A. Kuntz, and I'm going to refer to the author as one just because it's easier, um, does a really great job of painting this world that cat lives in and the people that she lives with and they foreshadow to a lot of really cool things if you're paying attention and um, some of it I caught on like really really quickly too and I think that a lot of readers will so the reason that this book is getting three books on the bookshelf is because first of all it's good but it's not getting more because I feel like that Ah, it just, it, there were a few things lacking in the story, but it really was due to the fact that I think that C.A. Kuntz was building up into Dark Days, which is the second book. More characters are introduced or at least um, picked up on in a more detailed way in the second novel. But Cat and then, ooh, a shadow, um, Ryan, uh, <laughs> they their relationship takes another step. Cat has changed now into what she is, which we're talking paranormal here, vampires, werewolves, witches, all that good stuff. I'm not going to tell you what she is, but we do know she is the child. And in Dark Days, I think that the fact that C.A. Kuntz takes that step into involving more of the characters, this book gets four books on the bookshelf. Dark Days is a great segue and a lot more detail into this world that is being it, it's been created by them and but it's it's one of those things that I love paranormal because it's the word normal like you think cat is normal she wants to be normal but then there's this whole para part that um, makes it not normal and um, yeah I think that you're gonna love this book if you love paranormal the romance is not heavy so it's completely appropriate for a younger audience I mean I would totally say that someone that likes to let their kids read paranormal age 12 and up um, would really enjoy it and one thing I have to admit is that with the first book I knew I had the second book to look forward to but it 
I had it in my hands, and so I don't think there was that like itchy feeling that we always get when we have to wait for the book. But after Dark Days, I am so itching for the third book. Um, like I said earlier, this is a five book series, and so it, it, there's going to be some waiting that that's going to have to happen. But um, the way that Cat. I guess just comes into her sophomore year in dark days, the way she is faced with some trials and difficulties um, that are in the paranormal world, as well as some that are in her normal world, because, you know, who likes mean girls? But the thing is, is that through all of that, you are getting a, a really good plot, lots of great little subplots, and Cat naturally falls into more trouble, which I know most of us find absolutely annoying, and I have to admit that it just makes a fantastic book, and so I know the third book is going to be really good. I mean, like, really, really good, so I'm really looking forward to it, and um, I think that you guys are going to love it, too. There are humans, there are paranormal characters, there are humans that act paranormal and paranormals that act human, which is really funny. And I think that you're just, you're really going to like them. So where you're going to read the child and it's very Catherine heavy, cat heavy, and she's figuring things out and you're figuring things out probably faster than her, stick with it because you might think, oh, okay, I know what's happening. And then you're going to get into dark days and you're going to be like, oh, I'm so excited about this. And I think that you will be. So three books for the child, four books for dark days. I really hope that you'll go out and grab this. Um, C.A. Kuntz, Carol and Adam. I've really enjoyed it so far. I'd really love to get my hands on the third book. Um, I know you're busy. So stay busy, keep writing, because I really think that people are going to love this series. Paranormal, a little dab of romance, not too much. Um, some great characters, and I think that uh, it, it's just the perfect formula for a really good series. So, hope you guys will go pick it up. The Child, Dark Days, and I will talk to you later. Bye.